My beloved, I want to tell you that God loves you today, that God cares for you. I don't know what kind of a sinner you are. You know, the Bible says the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Um, and it goes on the list and it says, and such as some of you. Well, the good news is this, such as some of you. I don't care if you're a swinger, I don't care if you're a gigolo, I don't care if you're a whoremonger. Um, there's hope because of Jesus Christ. Um, Paul said, the apostle said, I was an enemy. I was chiefs of sinners. I was an enemy of the cross. Um, amen. And he, we saw the work he did. You can become effective for God. You can become effective in your community, in your home, in your school, in your college. Wherever you go, you can spread the life of God. You may not be doing so right now, but you can turn to Jesus and know this, that he can justify you. Amen. The church in the kingdom of God is made up of exes. You know, we used to be, but now we're not. And you can be one of those. There's hope alive today because of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that God loves you today. God has a plan for you today. I feel the love of God. Yeah. And we focus so much on sin that we forget what Jesus Christ did for us. Yeah. Amen. I don't care how much of a deprived, yeah, I don't know, sinner you are. But God can turn your life around. Maybe you've backslidden. Maybe, you know, you, you, you've left God and you're in depravity and, you know, you're doing all kinds of stuff. But Jesus Christ can, it's never too late. Yeah, um, it's never too late. You can have a new beginning. He said, I've come, um, he said that I make all things new again. He can restore you like in Joel, the canker worm, the pommel worm. He can give you all those years back that you were living in sin. In, in, in depravity, whatever it may be, I don't care what sin it is, sexual sin, maybe you're a thief, maybe you left God for money, maybe you left God for fame and fortune, maybe, you know, maybe you just wanted to go out there and, and, and do your own thing and see what the world has to offer you. Well, the good news is this, that God won't cast you away, He will accept you. The Bible says that He forgives all our sins and heals all our diseases. And he can restore you on the health. He can restore you. He can, you can recover all when you call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord today. Jesus loves you. Amen. Let him, let him wash your sins away. You can start all over again. You know, you, you, maybe, you know, you can begin again. Maybe you're not born again. You can get born again right now and say, listen, no, God doesn't need me. Of course he does. Well, the eye, the toe, the neck, the, the, the finger, uh, the, the, the teeth, the lips, the hair. We come together. We make the body of Christ. The building isn't the body. We are. We're the temple of the Holy Ghost. And there is a place for you. God can use you. You've done a lot of bad, and God can use you to do a lot of good. He can turn you around and use you for His glory. And instead of wrecking lives, you can make lives. God can use you. He can use you if you'll only look to Him today. Look to Jesus. He uses the broken. He uses the broken. Look to Jesus Christ today. Yeah, let Him receive you today. Let Him justify. We can't justify ourselves. No way but the cross can. Golgotha can. The sacrifice can. Yeah. I feel this strongly in my spirit. That there is a place for you and the kid. That's what the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is made of. People who used to, such as some of you, alcoholics and murderers and gang members and cartels and mafiosos and, 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 and you know, fake Pharisees and, you know, club and doing all kinds of, the, this is the hope of glory. The hope of glory. Jesus Christ can receive you. It's never too late. You can do good. You can turn. You can make a new. You can turn a new page in your life, and you can be a living testimony of the love of God and say, "I've never seen anything like that in all my life." And you say, "It's all because of Him," and they'll know it. They say, "I know nobody couldn't do that but God, but the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit." Amen. Receive this word. Receive Christ today, and 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 and, and let Him justify you. You know, such as some of you, you maybe you're an enemy of the cross. 
You know, maybe you're in darkness, but in the twinkling of an eye, God can supernaturally ch transport you into his kingdom. The new wine. You know, the Bible talks about the latter rain. We are in the last days. This is the latter rain. Don't miss the outpouring of the Holy Ghost in the latter rain. We just celebrated Pentecost. But Jesus is the Jubilee. And Jesus is Pentecost. You know, we think about the feast. Uh, all the feasts lead to Jesus. And Pentecost represented Christ. You can have Jubilee. Jesus is our Jubilee. Every day. Pentecost every day. When, you're, when you have Jesus in your heart. And in your life. A continual move of God in your life today. Ask the Lord to touch you today. I just sense that like. Maybe you feel like God can't use you. Of course he can. Yeah. God needs you. He can use you. He can, you can begin to testify. And be a witness for him. Amen. That he's alive and well. And you'll see it in your life today. I don't care how far away from God you are. That's what I love about God. No matter what I do, He loves me. He loves me when I'm right. He loves me when I'm wrong. He loves me when I don't pray. He loves me when I don't read the Bible. He loves me when I don't give. He loves me when I'm not in my best. When he, he you know, the Bible says, He He, he abides faithful because He cannot disown His own. Even if we're not faithful, God is faithful. I'm talking about the faithfulness of God. Not our faithfulness because, you know, some, we're not always faithful, but Jesus is. Yeah. He's faithful to forgive you. And I know, you know, we should be faithful and thank God for that. But the truth is we're not always faithful. I'm not. Sometimes I'm not always my best. Sometimes I say things or do things that have nothing to do with God. I'm in the, you know, we're not in heaven yet. But thank God we're serving a merciful God. So don't feel condemned come to jesus we commit your life to jesus there's a place for you um who knows what god may use you to do you know say yes to jesus christ today and focus on his love he's soon to come amen whether you're a swinger a gigolo i don't know but jesus loves you and he died on the cross for you and not only that he was raised the third day He's at the right hand of the Father making intercession for you. Amen. Call on. That's probably God talking to you now. In your sin. Yeah, God is talking to you. Jesus is calling you. Even when you're not at your best, He is calling you. And He's telling you, you know, the plans that He had, the vision and the dream that He has for you. I remember God calling me. And I don't want nothing to do with God. And I'm preaching the gospel, serving God, worshiping God. You can do the same. You know? He can use you to impact the whole world, your neighbor, your your family, your friends, your community. I'm talking about the love of God today. You know? I love the ticket. That's what God said. He's, he says, without love, the prophet's nothing. Do I have to get my Bible and it'll be burned? I've done a lot of fun. I've been Sometimes I've been unforgiving. And the love of God will touch me. And I've learned from it. And to be like God, to walk in God, to love like God. Jesus said this. You know, he said this. He said, no greater love than to lay down your life for your brother. Yeah. And he laid his life down for you. Amen. Now think about that. He laid down his life for you. Amen. You may think you're insignificant. But in your sin, God will talk to you. In your sin, God will call you out. In your sin, God will bring him to you. He'll have grace upon you. He had tremendous, he had so, he, that's why I'm preaching the love of God. In my foolishness, he's, you know, he, he still answers my prayer and protects me and my family and meets our need. He's such a wonderful God. Even in our foolishness, he can turn that mess into a message. Romans 8 28. All things, of, all things work for good for those who love him. And I believe in the love, and I've seen it in my own life. He's faithful even if I'm not. Yeah, even if I'm not, even if I can't, because we can never live up to the state. You know, we can never, only Jesus Christ. You can't, you can't live up to that. Yeah, the, the law killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. See, the law killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Jesus said this, the blood, the shedding of the blood of the new covenant. He said, this is my body that is broken for you. Do this and remember. And then he said this of the New Testament. 
the old way was okay, but it was leading to Christ, we can never fulfill it. So we have to have a new covenant based on better promises. And what is it? His love for us. His mercy. What he did for us, not what we did for him. Don't get into legalism, my friend. Yeah, don't get in the flesh. Don't become religious. I've seen it all too far. And there's times in my life when I can get that way. And God will begin to deal with me and reveal himself to me and avail himself to me and pour his spirit. You know, don't become legalistic. And this, we're just, it's by faith we're saved through grace. And yeah, the Bible says, like the song says, amazing grace. How sweet thy sound. Yeah, to save a wretch like me. I was blind, now I see. I was lost, but now I'm found. Yeah. Amen. Remember that. It's not our love for him. It's his love for us. It's not our faithfulness. It's his. I'm not saying go out and do whatever you want. Of course not. But I will say this. Don't become legalistic. Don't become religious. Yeah. Too many of that in the world. Show the love of God. I don't give because I have to. I give because I want to. Because he's a loving God. Remember that Jesus loves you today. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Call upon him today. You bring, you know, call upon him. Maybe you're tired. You know, so I'm tired of living in sin. I'm tired of, you know, living in darkness. I'm tired of living this back sin life. I'm tired of just, you know, being away from God. Or, or I'm just tired of, hey amen, that's time to come in. Yeah, it is. It's God calling you. And he's been waiting for you for a long time. God has done the same thing for me. He's a patient God. He's a God of long-suffering. And he's been long-suffering and waiting for you to come home to say yes to Jesus Christ. You know, a lot of people believe, well, I got saved. Now, God, God's always been, he was with you. He was with you when you were a witch and, and a warlock or a gigolo or a gang member or you know, whatever the sin, an adulterer, a fornicator, you know, a gambler, whatever it be, maybe God was with you then, and he's calling you, he's calling you, man, he's calling you, come to Jesus, man, he's got to work for you, dude. don't let that sin stop you, I sense that so many people have, they've, 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 they've missed it because they believe in religion, they believe in, believe in Jesus Christ. See, many people fall away even in the ministry because they get religious. <laughs> and it's about Jesus. He loves you today. Don't be too hard on yourself. You know, the Bible says if we condemn ourselves, for our, we have confidence. But he's greater than that. Don't condemn yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't let men and the devil and the flesh condemn you. Receive God's word. Receive the word of God. Receive God's love for you. He's ministering to you. He's witnessing you. The Holy Spirit is there right there with you right now. In that place that you are. I haven't always been where I'm at. And I thank Jesus now. Because, you know, he said he will perfect that which concerns me in the Psalms. And you, you can change. It's possible. God can change you. God can transform you. God can use you. God can, things can begin to change in your life today. Yeah. Financially, emotionally, in your home. Miraculously, I've seen it all in my life. In other people's life. But it's, but it's based on his love now. Yeah. See, you, you know, you don't want to be too hard on yourself or hard on others. You know, forgive people. Bless them. Take them to lunch. Take them to dinner. Pray for them and intercede for them. Amen. Read the word. Stand on God's word for you. How much he loves you. And it said, oh, 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 teach and see that the Lord is good. You know, Isaiah said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our neck. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were healed. We were healed. But he took all that sin and all those mistakes and all those cuss words and all the times you fornicated and and whatever you did, and in all the times you did ungodly things, and wicked things, and vile things, he took the whole sin of the world, so you wouldn't have to. All you have to do is receive that gift. I say it's too good to be true. No, it's not. That's why I'm alive today. So my family's doing well, because I believe in that covenant. I believe in that covenant that Jesus said, this is my body.
receive. You know, the grace of God will heal you, man. The love of God will restore you. I just feel it. Yeah, believe it. Read it in the Word. Let the, the Holy Spirit is ministering to you right now. Yeah. You know, God is dealing with that receive it. And not, don't, not, and I'm saying not, is that when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. He can use you to impact the world for Him. You can say, man, God, you know, I was so blind. Now I see. And you, and you can win them over for Jesus. You can see the abundant life. You know, full of joy, full of health, full of prosperity. God meeting your need. God using you. Amen. You can see a divine change through the cross of Jesus Christ today. Yeah. Believe the good news today. Not me, because of Him. I tell people, God will do it for you, man. I love you, but Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says in Zechariah 4 and 6, It's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. It's going to be God and His Spirit. It takes time. You know? And even if you get born again, or even if you're backslidden and you come back to it's going to take time, you know. God is along. He's not going to happen overnight. Sometimes it will. Sometimes it won't. But, amen, God loves you today. I didn't get to where I was overnight. It took me a long time. You know, we learn things. You know, we learn. Amen. We learn how to love God. We learn how to receive God's love. We learn how to love our neighbors, our friends, our, our enemies. Well, you know, we're, we're never going to be until Jesus comes. You know, it's not heaven yet, so we're in a fallen world, and we learn every day. You know, every day we're going to learn something about Christ and how to love God and love others. And we're not there. I'm not there. I know I'm not. I'm, I thank God I'm not where I used to be. I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I thank God where I'm not used to be. And it's going to take time. Be patient. Amen. Be patient. God is a loving God. God, be patient. Be patient with others around you. God is where you know, God is working on us today. Yeah. Amen. He's all the, remember the mercy. You know the Bible says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yeah. As you show the mercy of God, God will show you. I, I've, I've shown a lot of mercy, and a lot of mercies come back. Amen. Thank you. God will meet your need. Receive God's mercy for you today. Yeah. That covenant that Jesus made, my body that was broken, the cup of the new covenant, the cup of the new testament, the shedding of his blood was not in vain. Amen. God loves you today. Say yes to Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you know, the Bible says without a vision of people perish, God has a vision for you. Maybe uh, he gave you a vision, you know, to, to, do, to do something for him, to touch the world, to touch your family. Walk in that vision, walk in that, don't wait. You know, go ahead. You know, the Bible says in the book, we are, we're right to obey God than man. You know, many of are led by the Spirit of God, the soul of the sons of God, go forward. You know, whatever God has given you, go forward. Do the work of God. I, I don't know, maybe it's just it's, to you know, have a better relationship with your family or to win, when you win your enemies over to feed the hungry. Go, I don't know, start a ministry. Don't wait. There, there is no perfect time to go forward now before it's too late. God uses God uses the imperfect. He, he can use you. Say yes to Jesus Christ today. The Bible says when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us in Romans 5 and 8. Romans 5 and 24 was sin abound. Grace abound is much more. Romans 6 23 says for the way to the sin is death. But the gift of God. Oh my friend, there is a gift. That's Jesus Christ today. We all know the way to the sin is death. But that gift is Jesus Christ. Say yes to Jesus Christ today. Receive the receive the call of God. Quit running from God. And maybe you are. But now it's time to surrender. God loves you right now. Say yes to Jesus. Let him heal you. The healing will begin to flow. Say yes to Jesus Christ today. Say yes to him. God loves you today.